A second type of fill stitch is the satin stitch. Satin fills are well suited to narrow borders and small shapes so that the length of each stitch can form the width across the border. There are usually no needle penetrations across the objects, so these stitches create a glossy effect. To change an object to satin, select the object and then click on the satin icon. A satin fill can be used on objects that are consistent in width, such as this bar, or those with varying width. With objects that are varied in width, the software automatically changes the stitch density so the stitches in the narrow part of the object are further apart and stitches in the wider part of the object are closer together. If you open object properties, you'll find that varying widths are set for automatic stitch spacing. When I select this consistent bar, you'll see that manual spacing is selected for this type of object. For the narrow bar, I can change the spacing either to a higher number or a lower number and apply the change and I will see how that stitch is affected. There are two different types of satin fill, satin and satin special. For this larger object, the width of the object is really too wide for the stitch to jump from one side of the object to the other. So you can apply satin special. Satin special is used to prevent long satin stitches in larger shapes. The long stitches are broken into shorter ones. The software distributes the needle penetrations in a random pattern so the objects still appear glossy. Raised satin creates multiple layers of satin stitching. You can apply raised satin through the icon in the stitch bar or through object properties. This can also be applied to lettering. Each layer of the satin stitch gets progressively wider. Once again, this type of stitch is most suited for narrow objects or small shapes. You can change the spacing as well as the number of layers for the raised satin stitch. The number of layers is the number of layers between the underlay that is laid down as a base and the outside satin stitch cover. So this satin dot actually has five layers, the underlay, the three layers, and then the cover satin. The raised satin stitch can be used to add the look of hand pad stitching to your embroidery.